And as Eula said, next we'll hear from Dr. Deborah Gentile, who is a researcher, allergist, and immunologist at Allegheny General Hospital, which is part of the Allegheny Health Network. I'm interested in this because there's a lot of asthma in the Pittsburgh region. Um, it is a major public health concern. This just came out this month. May is National Asthma Month. Um, the Allergy and Asthma Foundation of America ranks the different cities, just like Phil talked about the ALA ranking air pollution. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, he covered it. But we have the Allergy and Asthma Foundation that ranks the states, or rather the cities, according to how much asthma there is. And we unfortunately still rank up there. Um, we're 27th with the most challenging to live with asthma. We actually improved from last year. We were at 16, and we did improve, just like we are with air quality, um, but we still have a ways to go. The high prevalence are really directly related to a lot of the environmental exposures and disparities, um, as well as levels of poor control. Um, I have medicines that are out there. I can't cure asthma. We may get to a point where we can prevent some of this from happening with different environmental controls. Um, but right now, I rely pretty much on treatment. And almost all of my patients that I treat for asthma, if they would take their daily medicines, would be very healthy and live good lives. Their asthma wouldn't really interfere. But despite us having excellent medical centers here, excellent doctors, and excellent medications, there's still a disconnect in the community that patients don't understand asthma is a chronic disease that we need to treat chronically. Um, you know, some people have labeled asthma as an epidemic in some areas of this region. And again, that's related to some of the environmental triggers and a lot of the disparities. I'm just going to provide you an overview of this. Next slide. There's a lot of different things that impact on asthma, and I think some of that's been alluded to earlier. Um, certainly, we know that different infections can set you up for asthma, particularly in childhood, and other infections may protect you. Tobacco smoke received a lot of attention in the past, and we still do have some issues with tobacco smoke here in the Pittsburgh region. As Phil demonstrated, outdoor air pollution is a big problem here industrial sources, there's a lot of residential wood smoke exposure, which we didn't go into earlier, and there's also mobile sources. Um, Dr. Pereira mentioned some of these other things, diet, even lifestyle, and just living in the inner city in general, the poverty, the exposure to violence and stress can play a role as well. Um, so it's just to summarize, we do have some pockets of asthma in the, these neighborhoods. Um, we're going to work better on characterizing those exact prevalence over the years, but the preliminary data is showing that there's disparities related to um, you know, economics and racial, and that also there's um, correlations with different levels of air pollution. And um, again, we really need to work together as a community and get out there and make people aware and work together to try to improve our air quality, as well as educate the community about these different health problems that really impact everyone.